was her horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Nelly song. That, that song is bad. But I think they made it. Like it, it dropped during one of in, one of the NBA playoffs. That's my first time hearing it. Well, they did use it in the NBA they playoffs used it one in time. Madden. They used it in Madden. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's what I'm thinking. But of yeah, too. that shit was hard. He thought he was getting off. We uh, thought. Uh, I, I, did we think he was getting off? Hot dog, need the cheese and mustard. <laughs> Nigga named the concession stand snacks. Like, Come what on, is going bro. on? Man, happy Monday, everybody. It's your boy Jumpman <laughs> Jones. Welcome to another episode of the Kicking Shit Podcast. I'm here with the normal crew. Uh, I would say you might just want to hold it. Yeah. I'm here with the normal crew, man. We got D behind the camera. What's going on, D? <laughs> I'm I'm good. I'm say, good. He used to hold mics. He'd be and like, to my right, that, man, we got the funny. <laughs> That's fucked up. Sorry, to the right, man. we got the I funny, I don't the care. talented <laughs> Mr. J Liners it. himself. himself. Your motherfucking boss, man, comedian James it's D. Good, Jellyfish, y'all. man. What's going on, brother? Man, I got rid of the flow. And I'm back for some more. What's good with y'all niggas? Chilling, chilling. Shout out Gajo, man. They braid something out. They braid an underarm here if they got to. That's the Haitians? Nah, that's the Africans. Okay. Get it right. Let's see. Sorry. I'll they're very nice out. people. Shout out to the Nigerians. I don't All right, know man. which tribe they're from, so chill out. <laughs> to my left, man, it's my boy, it's my partner, it's my dog, it's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, a.k.a. Crown Daddy, a.k.a. Crown Poppy, all the El Himado Poppy, the Avion Down, the Terramonte God, the Malargo Ho, Mr. Steal Your Girl, give her right back, because she got hammer to us, Mr. Daddy, are you on the radio? It's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, man, what's going on, my brother? No, I had some Malargo last week. All right, all right. <laughs> Malargo margaritas. Oh, okay. At uh, Applebee's? Nah, I ain't been to Applebee's. They say the line been like the wait been like forty five minutes at least at Applebee's. Niggas taking advantage, ain't they? I mean, I ain't you get some shit for a dollar, then nothing. I can see why. Yeah, and I don't know, but some states got a limit. Not all states. Some states have a limit on how many Applebee's margaritas you can drink. So is in this one their sitting. first time doing this? Nah, they had it a few years ago, but they brought it back. They, the, they're not gonna bring it back no more. Cause they know it's cheap as hell. But now uh, Red Lobster got a deal. What they got? Red Lobster got the twenty dollar crab leg special, <laughs> where you get three clusters for a dub with two sides. <laughs> and they got the Casamigo flights, fourteen dollars. Uh, you get three uh, Casamigo dr- mixed drinks. Old niggas always gonna know that what is it our eats. American Family the Restaurant truth. intro. <laughs> now, can I finish my intro? Oh, my Thank bad. you. Uh, if you're watching this podcast, we appreciate you. Shout out to everybody who listen week in and week out. If you're watching this right now on YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and SoundCloud. Now, if you're listening to this episode, that means we are not live right now. We are off uh, for vacation for the holidays. Yeah. So. Uh, we cooked up some episodes for our listener base for y'all to have while we're gone. Um, today, we are doing the could have been top 20 uh, NBA players. Now, what the could have been top 20 NBA players is, is a top 20 list of NBA players who had promising careers cut short due to either like illness, nagging injuries they could never really fully recover, recover from to be like at their, their best. Um... I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, so we, we we took the time to list our top 20 out. Um, at the end of the episode, y'all can get down in the comments. Or y'all can hit us up on Instagram or however y'all communicate with us and tell us, are we tripping on our list? Did we forget somebody? Did we leave somebody out? Is somebody we should have included in this discussion? Let us know. Other than that, man, we're going to dive into that right now. To start, we're going to start with our 20 through 15. So on this... On this uh never on this could have been on this could have been top twenty. We're going twenty through fifteen. So I'm gonna start with James. I wanna hear who you got twenty through fifteen NBA players whose careers was cut short, who could have been them guys had they not had some nagging injuries or some type of uh uh, uh medical issue. So uh, let me hear your twenty through fifteen. Who you got? Um well I had to do some rearranging because I had the phone on a friend. So this motherfucker is actually <sighs> seven. But I got for fifteen I got Wagner, Dewan Wagner. Sixteen okay. I got Terrell Brandon. All right. <clears throat> Y'all gonna be mad at me in this one. Eighteen, I got C Webb. <sighs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I I uh nineteen I got Odin. Oh yeah, he was on the yeah, 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 yeah. And right. twenty, 
This is probably gonna be a one of Cookie Cannoli too. I got J O'Neal. You're at twenty. I'm eager to hear your top fifteen though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Damn, okay, that was tough. What made you what made you put Greg uh not Greg Odie, what made you put Jermaine O'Neal so so low in, in at at twenty? I mean, he really wasn't known for too much inside that mid ranger and fucking niggas up at the palace. <laughs> yeah. okay, that right. slot and the, the punch. Yeah, that, that yeah. Nigga that, slid into that punch. That was amazing. And his mid ranger was a sure shot. Lethal injection. Nah, he used fact. to go up to the that's rucker fact. sometimes to get off. His name was Lethal Injection at the Rucker. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, know yeah. That. He used okay. to go to the Rucker and get off back when street ball was big. That's before they was televising. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Mm. That's when Kobe and them used to go over there and play. Nah. I think that was really the only question I had on that list. 20 for Jermaine O'Neal is crazy. All right, man. Uh, Johnny, what you got? 20 through 15. All right. So, I'll, shit. My look kind of similar. Not really. Uh, 20, I had Jermaine. No, I'm sorry. 20, I had Chris Webber. Uh, <laughs> 19, I had Allen Houston. 18, Gilbert Arenas. Wow. 17 wow. was uh, Larry crazy, Johnson. Bro. 16, I added somebody. I added Lonzo Ball in there. Oh wow! Okay, interesting spin. And, what and, was the, and then my fifteen was Zion. What's what was the motivation to add Lonzo Ball? Well, I, I like I had hat. Lonzo came into the league. He was supposed to be a superstar from the jump. I don't know if it's because his dad hyped him up or what, but he's had these spots where he's been like good. But I mean, he injury bug. Last year he missed the whole season. He missed the season in L.A. when he was in L.A. I think Lonzo just think you know. I think the injury boy is going to keep him out for years. He might play five or six games here and there, but I don't think he's ever going to play a full season, and I don't think we're ever going to get to see his full potential. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. Um, Damn, I respect. I think that's the only question I had on that. I do. I, I got uh, Larry Johnson in my bottom, too, but what's up with the Jermaine O'Neal in the bottom 20, y'all? Well, I didn't, even put, I didn't even put him on my list at all, Jermaine O'Neal, but I put Chris Webber as Yeah, what's up with Chris O'Neal? Yeah, well, I feel nothing. like Chris had a fulfilled car- career, so I, I feel like his could have been – we saw what it was. Oh, okay, okay. I'm giving you that. I see how you took the list. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like he had a, a good career. He, oh. he played for multiple teams, had a couple shots at some championships. I feel like he had a full but career. But didn't the injury come early in that career? He was hurt, uh, I think, when he first uh, got to the league. But I still, you know, he had a good run with the Kings. Uh, he went to he the did. Pistons towards the end of his career. He did. He, he was did. with the Warriors when they had CMC back in the day. I yep. run CM, DMC back in the day. So, I mean, shit. I felt like he had a fulfilled career. That's how I kind of viewed the list. Like, what players did we – like, they had some potential to be greater than what they really were. And I think I, – I, I agree with what you're saying. I think I heard analysts said that Chris Webber had nagging injuries that, that mm-hmm. held him back. And so, that's what made me include him just like in just, – just in the pool. And I was just trying to pull players – uh, period, but I, I agree with that. Uh, in my bottom twenty, at twenty, I got Jabari Parker. He played for the Bucks, Bulls, Wizards, Hawks, Kings, Celtics. He played for Duke, and he was a two, uh, nah, not two time, but I think they won the championship while he was at Duke. His high his, his high school accolades is crazy. He still played ball overseas. Uh, his career, he averaged fourteen points, two assists, five rebounds. And then I had Terrell Brandon at um nineteen. He played for the Cavs, Bucks, Wolves. He was a two-time NBA All-Star in 95 and 96, I think it was. All-rookie in 92. Averaged 13 points, three rebounds, and six assists. Now, you brought Andrew Bynum into the conversation, so I had to throw him in at 18. Andrew Bynum played for the Lakers, Cavs, and the Pacers. And, of course, we know he's a two-time NBA champ, 09-10. Uh, um, NBA All-Star in 2012. NBA All-Second team at 12. Larry, Larry Johnson, although it hurts for me to put him this low, I got him at um, oh yeah, seventeen. Grandma, Ma, that Hennessy took him out. And we got twenty. Hey, twenty nineteen. He played for the Hornets and the yeah. Knicks, but he did have a, he did have a nagging uh, injury that that slowed his career down. But he was an NBA All Star in ninety three and ninety five. NBA All Second Team, NBA All Rookie of the Year. Uh, he was also a USA Basketball Athlete. He was in the Hall of He's also in the Hall of Fame uh, class of eighty nine. Uh, for UNL. no, he was the athlete of the year in '89, and he averaged 16.7 rebounds, three assists through his career. And of course, at 15, I got Charlotte's very own Jamal Mashburn. Now he's not from Charlotte, but shout uh, out to my nigga Mash. We he got played? Jamal he Mashburn. On my list. Yeah. He was an NBA All Star in '03, uh, NBA All Third Team, and then uh, NBA All Rookie First Team. He averaged 19 points, five rebounds, and four assists. Man, that's impressive. Very underrated. One yeah. of my favorite players of all time. 
Very impressive. So that was the first round. Ooh, Jamal Murray? Yeah. He one of your favorites? Yes. Yeah. Wow, I used to love it. I, I just like his game. Oh, okay. He was like one of the first point uh the the point forwards, one of the first point forwards, man. His turnaround was nasty. But that was my dude. Was I, my really, dude. I really like Johnny List so far. I like your list too. <laughs> you I, like him over uh I like y'all list. Name? Lamar Odom? No, he played just like him. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Um, all right. Round two, man. Fifteen through ten. Let's get we're getting closer to that top ten. The top ten, I feel like we're gonna get some debates in, but fifteen through ten. I want to hear who y'all got. We, of course, we're going to start with James. So we starting at 15? You can start 14? at 15. Oh, okay. James, I mean, James did his thing 10 through 5. I mean, what? I think he, he did, did 15 20. through 20. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, however oh, okay. you want to work it out. So, so, so 14 I mean, through we, 10. We're going 14 through 10, pretty much. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, people. All right. So, my 14 through 10. A little weird. All right, let's hear but it. But I'm going to go on with it. I like so weird. at my 14, I got Ben Simmons. Okay. Yeah, he did say that. Ben I got Simmons. Ben's mental health issues. Yep. yep. He got. He had a lot going on. We yeah. just didn't know what was going on. <laughs> we, still we still don't, still don't, know, don't know, what's know what's going on. Don't know what's going on. He gonna be on there. The damn Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> That's who we blaming. <laughs> Ask Reggie Bush. Uh, at now I got I got some stuff switched around too because I put them kind of in the same category. I got Zion as well because he had a lot going on. Shout out to Zion. And we still hey, trying to yeah, say Zion. <laughs> Zion, as the list says. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Zion. <laughs> Zion. <laughs> Zondaya. I can't speak. But anyway. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, because I had the Y in there. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I kind of got them in the both same category. Uh, at, what were we on? 12? You did. I got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. 13. Uh, well, yeah, 12. 14, 15, yeah, 14, 13, 12, yeah. I got Jamal. Mash burn. All right, All right. Respect, my boy respect. Mash. He should be higher. He should be higher. He, my boy he, he Mash. Should. He should. Uh, at eleven, it was a tie up between these two. I ain't know who I wanted. Getting the mic, one, my boy. Oh, I had a tie up between what eleven, but uh, I ultimately went with Gilbert Arenas at eleven. You can. Uh, I got you. Okay. I fuck with. I fuck with Agent Zero. Yeah, he he was nice. I I felt like he could have got higher, but you know, we he high. And uh, number ten, I got Bynum. Okay, yeah, I, Andrew I, Bynum. I ain't got no complaints with that. I like Gilbert Arenas at eleven, although I feel like, not to give it away, he should be top ten. So yeah, I he's know. if he listened but to I, this podcast, he would chew us the fuck out. <laughs> I, like, I know. I like don't know basketball. I, I like him eleven. I like him eleven. And we not basketball experts, y'all. We basketball fans. There's a difference. Very true. Oh, there's a difference. Johnny, man, where you at? All right, so fourteen. I put Terrell Brandon up there, Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, 13, I had Chris Bosh. I thought Chris Bosh, uh, the tail end of his career, kind of got taken away from him. Um, and, the you know, injury thing, yeah. definitely could have added some stats. I don't think he would have got another ring or anything like that, but definitely could have padded some stats and put him on some ta- all-time list, but he missed the opportunity for that. I had Amari Stoudemire at 12. I respect I it. I love Amari game, yeah, but, again, you know, injuries it. got to him, and we didn't get to see – you know what him and like Melo could have did together yeah. and shit like that. I um, at eleven, I had uh, Jabari Parker. Respect, I, I had my boy Jabari Respect. Parker. I love. I used to follow him at Duke. So when he got to the league, I knew he was gonna be something. I see him in a summer league game. <laughs> him and Giannis did. versus uh, Anthony Bennett and I think I remember um, that. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. I think I remember that. And that was like the best summer league game I ever seen in my life. I was, was like, damn, the Bucks. If Jabari and Giannis can, you know, do the, what they're doing right now. That's what I thought they was going to do. But the ACL, man, that's a career into injury for a lot of people. And he don't play defense. That's and then at 10, about. we're doing 10? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. I put Yao Ming at 10. Okay. Yao at 10? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I put Yao at 10. That's He's a generational talent. 13, 12, 11, 10. So. Yeah, I just felt like we didn't get enough out of him. Because, you know, he was a tall dude. Them, them knees was kneeing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so me and Johnny got something in common right now. Yao Ming is my 10. Uh, NBA All-Star, 03 through 09 and 2011. He, two-time NBA all NBA second team and three-time NBA all third team, and he was the uh, all-rookie first team. And they retired his number, and he ended up averaging 19 points, nine rebounds, and one block. That's an impressive stat line for the seasons he played. He's too tall to average just one block. That I agree with that, but he couldn't <laughs> get off the floor. Yeah, he couldn't get off the floor. 
for a minute, niggas was yamming on y'all. I mean, yeah, yeah, he was on a lot of posters. That nigga was because he can't get out the floor. The niggas was like, all right, <laughs> if all you you can't he can't jump. So if you can't jump, you really at a disadvantage on somebody trying to dunk on you, no yeah. matter your height. All you can really do is put your hand up, and I'm coming with force. Boy, you remember they had that squad? They had Steve Franchise, Steve Francis, T Mac, Shane Batty. What's my man name? Skip to Malou. Yeah, yeah, he was coming off the bench. They had a stick. Ray Foster. Yeah, Ray for Austin was the point. He started. And off the bench. Who started point? Oh, Steve Francis. I thought Francis the trade there. was Ray Steve Fr- Francis for T Mac. Oh, mm-hmm. no, no. They, they played together. Play together, I think. Mm. So they was playing T-Mac together. How did he get to uh, Orlando? Who? Steve uh, Francis. Uh, I thought he, he went to Orlando? For- yeah, he got traded to he's Orlando. Right. No, we'll he's look right. It up. We'll he's look right. Look yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We'll look it up. Um, at 14, I had Brandon Roy. Uh, Portland Trail Blazers, and I didn't know he played for the T Wolves. He was a three time NBA All Star. Now, I know I should have put him higher, but I got some guys higher than him that, that deserve to be there. Uh, All NBA second team and third team, 09 to 10, rookie of the year in 07. All rookie first team, averaged 18 points, four rebounds, four assists. I got my boy Cat. Boy, it was nice. At three, I got Cat at 13. Rockets, Magics, Kings, and Clippers. He was an NBA All Rookie second team. In 99, now he ended up averaging 16 points, three rebounds, two assists for his career. Coutinho Mobley, big, Allen he Houston. Big three, I was big a three big, dude now. I was a big Allen Houston fan back in the day. He did his thing with the Knicks. He's not on my list. I know he's not. He did his thing with the Knicks. <laughs> I didn't know he played with the Pistons. He was a two-time NBA All Star, 2000, 2001. Averaged 17 points, two rebounds, and two assists from 93 to 05 was his playing career. And of course, I got Jermaine O'Neal at 11. He played for the Pacers, the Raptors, the Heats, the Celtics. He was a journeyman. Uh, six-time NBA All-Star from 2002 to 2007. All-NBA second team, 04. All-NBA third team, 02 and 03. NBA most improved in 02. Average 13 points, seven rebounds, and one assist. And I will say that stat line is probably because he stayed in the league so long and started to play a few games, fewer minutes. Bought his averages down, so he couldn't pad those stats. That's my 15 through 10. On that one, so me and Johnny had that Yao Ming one at at yep. ten, um, so that that was that was a dope one. Now, well, my honorable mention list go crazy. This this one <laughs> this one <laughs> get, this one gets sticky, man. Honorable mention. We in that top ten, man. So ten, uh, uh, well nine through five. Yep. Thank you yeah. guys for helping me out with that. Nine yep. through five. James, nine through five, who you got? All right, so my nine through five. Could have right? been all stars. Let's nine go. Could have been. Even though he was an all star, he was still yes, man. I got your boy Amari. Mm. Amari Stoudemire coming in at nine. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. All right. I my got favorite, Yow. My favorite black Israelite, Amari I got, Stoudemire. Hey, my nigga be spitting on it. <laughs> we'll get on the late. <laughs> we'll get on the late. Big Amari started from our fan over here. Hey, bro, man. was spitting on it. He was like, hey, y'all. Anyways, <laughs> we got Yao coming in at eight. Mm-hmm. Now, my seven, I forgot about this man. I had to phone a friend for this guy, but he actually was a hooper. Damon Stoudemire. Remember Damon uh, Stoudemire? Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, bro. Uh, bro was a, a hooper. One. That's a good one. Straight hooper. Another pro- Johnny got the straight face. Another victim of and the... And he know uh, these guys well. Yeah. <laughs> another uh, victim of the Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David, David got down like that? <laughs> I think everybody in the air got down. David didn't get down like that. David was a good dude. All right. At uh, six, I got Chris Bosh. Mm. I respect that. I respect that. Good big man. You know what I'm saying? He was out here killing now, my last five is just straight guards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got Brandon Roy. All right. I think you're going too far. Hold on. I was like, yeah. That's, oh, that's you that's said, what? what, what, what oh, no, nine to five. That's your last Nine through five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I said, five. no, you got to do nine, eight, seven, six, she got five. Nine, so, eight, seven, six, five. So we gotta say five. Yeah. So yeah, my five. Ahead, say five. All right, my bad, y'all. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> nah, that's ready. Yeah, you I, got my, I got my numbers fucked it. up, so they keeping me in check. So at the Bosch, I got Brandon Roy. He is my number five. Okay. He's respect. my number five. I can respect that. Okay. Especially and that's all I got. See, especially after seeing his stat line. Yeah. Like he, so you had both of the Stoudemire's in your nine. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Damon was that nigga. Right. Damon was that nigga. I'm eager to hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So number nine, I got Jamal Mashburn. I already respect. said enough about him. Respect. Respect. <laughs> uh, eight, Greg Oden. I knew he would do that. Yeah. You should have known I he was going to do that one. 
you gotta think about his um intent behind his list. So I'm I'm Yep. Yeah, I like uh that. seven, I added somebody. This is where I put Lynn Bias at. Okay. Uh shit. I put Lynn Bias there because he was supposed to be great. They say he was, you know, comparable to Jordan with his game. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he was going to the Celtics, we already had Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert right. Parrish. He was going to have a hell of a uh, season as just being a rookie. So just imagine, you're just going to take the throne once Larry retired. Yeah, yeah, I can't I can't argue with that. Uh, six, I got Jay Williams, one of my favorite point guards in college. He came to the league, got in a motorcycle accident, and kind of, you know, c- oh, killed his career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then at number five, I have uh, Anthony Penny Hardaway. One of the, uh, I don't even know what you say about Penny. He just changed the game. You four time NBA All Star, man. Mm-hmm. Four time NBA All Star. Well, Johnny came with a printed yeah. list, didn't he? I came with a printed list. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my honorable. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, I can't wait to say this honorable. Number <laughs> <laughs> nine. Nigga, don't blow your load yet, bro. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, but this honorable mention list go crazy. All right, my nine is Amari Stoudemire, big Amari Stoudemire fan. He played with the Suns, the Knicks, the Mavs, the you Heat. Got that in common. Yeah, big Amari Stoudemire mm-hmm. fan. He's a six time NBA All Star, y'all. Mm-hmm. Six times. 05, 07 through 011. I mean, the nigga went straight. Seven, mm-hmm. eight, nine, ten, eleven, about what, five years, whatever that is. Yeah. Then that nigga knees start hurting. NBA first team, 07, four time NBA all second team. So we know he was getting that bag, getting them accolades. NBA rookie, uh, all rookie, 03. Um, at number eight, Chris Webber. I love Chris Webber See growing up. Knew Chris Webber was going to be in my top 10. He played for the Warriors, Kings, the Kings. Uh, the Warriors, the Wizards, the Kings, the Phillies, the Pistons, and the Warriors. He was a five-time NBA All-Star um, in 97 and 2000 through 2003. Uh, NBA All-First Team, three-time NBA All-Second Team, 99, 02, and 03. Um, All-NBA Third Team in 2000. NBA Rookie First Team in 94. He was the rebounding leader in 99, and he retired. And the Kings retired as number four. And he averaged 20 points, nine rebounds, and four assists. My man was was really balling. Now y'all know I had to put No Chill Gill up here. Oh, okay. You got. I had to put jo- No <laughs> Chill Gill up here. No Chill Gill, and we got nine eight seven. Now he played for the Warriors, the Wizards, and the Magic. I did not know he played for the Grizzlies and Spurs. I think towards yes. the end of the career, right? Yeah. 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 Three time oh, NBA All Star, um, 05 through 07, All NBA Second Team. A two-time NBA All-13. He averaged 20 points, three round, rebounds, and five assists. He was the first person to pull up from that half court before I'm Steph I'm shocked did. he never made the All-NBA first team because he had a year where he was average. He was hitting 50 back-to-back on him. Yeah. I yeah. forget who got it, like who got it instead, mm-hmm. but that's still debated. Yeah. So Gilbert was my man, and I seen that with my eyes. Like, he was bad. Uh, another guy I really loved, um, he was the alter ego of my favorite player of all time. It was t Mac. I got T-Mac up here at six. He played for the Raptors, the Magic, of course, the Rockets. I didn't know he played for the Knicks, the Pistons, and the Hawks. I didn't know that. Remember the Hawks. I remember the Hawks. Seven-time NBA All-Star from 01 to 07. Two-time uh, NBA first team, 03 to 02. And second team, uh, 01, 04, 07. Two-time scoring champion, 05 and 08. And he had also got NBA's most improved in 01. He averaged 19 points, five rebounds, four assists. T-Mac's nagging injury was his back. His back I never would be that. right. That's my nagging injury, too. Uh, he used to dunk all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least in my top five is another player that I love. I really love this guy. He was the alter ego to Jordan in the 90s because he had his own shoe. And he had, to me, he had the better sneaker campaign with Lil Penny. <laughs> my man Penny Hardaway, four-time NBA All-Star, 95 through 98. Two-time NBA All-First Team, 95, 96, and third team in the 97. He was an All-Rookie first team in 94. Now, his points per game was 15. He had four rebounds and five assists. His career was cut short, too. I think it was leg. I think it was back and knee. Knee injuries. That was Penny. back when they didn't take care of they so he probably yeah. was all fucked up. Yeah, he was he was bad. So yeah, shout out to Penny. We both had Penny at five. Yeah, yeah. We had that in common. That's crazy. Man. <laughs> Our top five is gonna be crazy, man. <laughs> right, that's, so that's crazy. Y'all about to go to your this round four, top four. So yeah. one four through four, three, one. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Four, three, Are two. you final in what you're selecting? James, I'm asking you. Why you y'all gotta ask you? You over there scratching off and I was <laughs> scratching. Why are you paying attention? <laughs> four, three, two, one? Yeah, because you already you already gave him number five. Let's see. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, tw
That's about right. I feel like I've named everybody. 60, 70, 18, 19, 20. Okay. All right. Well, my five is not Penny. It's Grant. You said Penny was your five. You said Penny was your five. So yeah. when I'm saying 10 through five, ten, number 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So I'm really mean 10 through 6 is what I just named. And then around the before that, I named 15 through 10 because I'm naming five at a time. So you. I'm <laughs> just naming five at a time. Okay. So if Grant, your five, right? I got four left then. Yes, Grant going to be my five. So go ahead and say Grant now. Grant Hill. Okay. Go ahead, give him his his spiel. Oh, what he got? oh round four. <laughs> All right, my top give five. Spiel. Now my top five is uh no 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 y'all yeah, go first. No, I'm saying it, go ahead and get Grant out the way so we'll oh, be then, all on the same. Because then everybody page. only have oh, four left. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so hold on. So so should we do one at a time here since we only got five left? Is see? No, we got four left. They each got four left. Oh, so that's why I'm telling you oh, go ahead oh, and do Grant. Thank you, James. Grant Hill for the Pistons, Magic Suns, Clippers, seven time NBA All Star from '95 to '98. Oh oh. Uh, 01 and 05. Uh, all I don't know if y'all remember when he played for the Suns. That was like his final good run. That was the yeah. end. He was yeah. trying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was in that <laughs> star was lineup. That nigga had people out there crying because he couldn't do it, man. <laughs> like yeah. he hurt again. He hurt again. <laughs> he tried to get back up. There. He really tried. He got to me. Yeah, that's the ultimate win. It got a beautiful family. Yeah. Nah, that is the ultimate win. <laughs> uh, Just- <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. He ain't got shit to do with basketball. <laughs> <laughs> he was the rookie of year in year right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, first, <laughs> and he was the first team all rookie in 95. He averaged 16.6 rebounds and four assists. Now we in the top four. <laughs> now we in the top four. Right, now I, I'm going to add an asterisk right now. The only reason I seen fit to put Magic and Bird in that pool, I want to let the audience oh, we know. We know why Magic got cut short. Magic got cut short at <laughs> HIV. Now I know people think he I know people Shut think up, he man. had a full career. Magic did play a long time, but Magic may have could have played longer. And I didn't know this about Bird, but Bird was a real nigga. Bird caught a back injury maybe in the late 80s. And it was a debilitating back injury. I don't think people know. I've seen a documentary. It was so bad. He was getting pumped up with steroids and shots. And had he landed wrong, he would have been paralyzed for life. So he pretty much put his life on the line through the end of his career to play. And they showed the footage. And it was like, these guys, Magic and Bird, we held them as great NBA players. But their playing careers, they weren't the healthiest. Bird wasn't the healthiest. I would say Bird wasn't the healthiest he could be near the end of his career in the last couple of years of career because of those back injuries. Niggas was doing bumper cocaine I about to say another victim of that Henny White. <laughs> Nigga got there. Cigarettes. Ah! Bird is cig- <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> Henny White. <laughs> so I'm going to add those adjectives. I don't know who picked who or who threw I didn't what. Put ne- I didn't put them in I my think, list. I know you didn't put them. I put a star on them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, y'all go ahead, man. All right. For my top four, man. The debatable list. I already know I'm going to get some schlack. Talking to Mike, please. Oh, uh, number four. I got Penny Hardaway. All right. I like it. I mean, yeah, Penny. Yeah. like it. My boy Penny. Uh, Number three. This was a hard one for me. I had to go in and scratch somebody out. I put Baron Davis. All right. I wanted to put I put Baron Davis. B. Diddy. Because Baron Davis was that dude. Honestly, he might have got number one if it wasn't for number one. I mean, being real. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Baron Davis, he was one of my all-time favorites. He played from one of my favorite teams. Everybody know the whole nah, you, you you so, thing. You're making me take somebody off. So, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hold on. You're taking nobody off. Yeah, yeah, no, you're taking nobody off. Y'all forgot about Baron Davis. Y'all forgot about BD. I know exactly who I'm taking off. Not BD. Hey, you know he dated. I don't know who he dated. The white lady from Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, he I'm just it. telling y'all now, Baron Davis made my top five. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, number two, I had T-Mac. T-Mizzle. T-Mac the man, bro. Uh, I, I can't argue with that. Say no more. And for number one, this one holds a special, it better special be who place I, in my heart. It better be who I think it is. Very special play, because I remember when this man first got drafted, I was telling everybody he's going to be the greatest, and he was for a little bit. <laughs> and then he got in. We, we already know who this is. And that's my man, D Rose. Shout out to D Rose, man. Shout out to D Rose. Can we do this? I'm gonna do the honorable mentions after y'all. All right. It's gonna go crazy though. Yeah. All right. At four. Hey, by the way, good list, great list. I Thank like you, man. Thank I love you. your list. At four, I had T Mac. 
Uh, I mean, you know why? Shit, it's T Mac. Uh, three, Grant Hill. Agreed. That's crazy. Great career. Could have been the next Jordan. At two, I had Brandy Roy. I mean, shit, his, his career was go- taken off, and he just could never get back on the court, man. I feel sorry for the Nick. Agreed. <laughs> And then uh, at one, my favorite player of all time, and the only person on this list besides Magic and Bird that got an MVP, Derrick Rose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's crazy. Yes, sir. All right, so James made me change. I had Magic Johnson number one. Why you do that? (laughs) But you right, man. Baron Davis was that nigga. Hey, man, you forgot about B. Diddy, man. So I got to put him at four. Yeah, I'm at four. I got to put Baron Davis at four. No. Just because he can't be my number one. My number one... I can't tell. Well, y'all know who my number one is. I feel like y'all should know. But at number four, I got CB4, man. I got CB4. Wrapped his heat. Two-time championship with his homeboys. 11-time NBA All-Star, dog. Out of everybody on this list, out, if that heart injury don't catch up to CB4, we you don't know. Bosh, like, Bosh. 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 Oh. He could have really padded those stats, man. Um, he's CB4. And they retired he his was. numbers in, at the heat. Yeah, he was CB4. I used to call him... Uh, not, nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he averaged 19 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Um, after watching that documentary, man, I gotta put Larry Bird uh at, at um at um two. Wow. Uh, a lot of mayonnaise. My on. back. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of mayonnaise on that. He list. played from 79 to 92. Hey. Put Adam Morrison up there. <laughs> he fought through the back injury. <laughs> Hey, that, nigga that, nigga had, that nigga had the sugars. That's hey. what that's what <laughs> killed his career. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Yo, I'm giving props to nigga Larry Bird, bro. I I ain't want I ain't want to do it. <laughs> he said, he said that nigga had I ain't want to do it. I mean, the accolades speak for themselves. This nigga won five. What's this? What five? Three time NBA champion. So not better than Magic, but Magic had HIV. Uh, finals sure MVP did. twice. Uh, MVP twice, twelve time NBA All Star, even uh, all from 1980. Got a pen and just marked 88, it. 90 through 92. Uh, <laughs> he made uh, NBA All Defensive Team. His defense was, was crazy. Uh, NBA Rookie of the Year, of course, and they retired his number up there in Boston. He's also in the 50, 40, 90 club. So Larry Bird is my number two. Um, I don't know that. I, I after watching that doc, that white man could have paid 20 years. I ain't even gonna lie to you, and they would have let him do it. Just like they let Dirk do it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> number one man for me is going to be Derrick Rose. I've seen this nigga play uh, in person too many times. And just watching him in ISO when before the injury, just ISO Derrick against your best guard. He was cooking yeah, yeah, he from half kill. court it's, it's to the rack on your ass. He was quick. He mm-hmm. was deceptive, and the nigga mid range was undeniable, oh, man. Yeah. His he played for the crazy. Bulls, the Knicks, the Cavs, the Wolves, the Knicks again. Uh, he was the Grizzlies. I'm say, about to go watch him this year. Hopefully, he play. Playing for the Grizzlies with uh, John Morant. John Moran in, in line. Yeah, he got was an to. NBA MVP in uh, 2011. He was a three time NBA All Star from 2010 to 2012. Uh, first team All Rookie in 11. Um, yeah, man. That is the number one could have been the one of the greatest players of all time. Still might get in that Hall of Fame. I don't know. Uh, I don't make he, the rules. He should, man. Uh, they said he might number. be the first MVP not to be a Hall of Famer, but I can I can see him making the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, man. You sometimes this could have been because I think Grant Hill. Some of these guys made it uh, yeah. to Hall of Fame status. Chris Webb, I think. Um, you didn't have Chris Webb on your list at all, right? Uh, Chris was my 20. 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. All right, but yeah, Derrick Rose is not number one, man. But yeah, so. That's the top 20 could have been NBA players um, from James, Johnny, and Jumpman. Hold on. I got Let me know what y'all mentions. think. Hold Go on. ahead. We, we, get, we getting there. Oh, we got, <laughs> I ain't got nothing. We getting there, man. Uh, any final thoughts? I want to hear these honorable mentions, man. Final thoughts on this? Uh, I, I like everybody list. It's all right. Uh, y'all tripping on a penny, penny position over uh, T-Mac. That's wild. That's wild. I got T Mac above Penny. Yeah, you got I got T Mac above Penny. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Hold cool, on. Cool. No, 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 no. I got Penny above T Mac. You right? I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. You wild. Yeah, you right. You I'm wild. Tripping. But that's. But <laughs> you right. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You wild. But I'm going to use, use Johnny Playbook. If we talk, it could have been. I mean, Penny only got a couple years in before he was out. He only got, like, what, two NBA teams I think he played for? I didn't. I didn't write it down. Yeah, I think he was kind of like with Grant Hill. But he it went was out. On the he, Suns he went out quick. So if I'm using the Johnny logic. Yeah, speaking of over T Mac, 
All right, y'all ready for the honorable mention? All right, yeah, it. man, I was All ready right, five the, minutes ago. At the lowest, lowest, <laughs> I got Master P. Because we, we <laughs> <laughs> that my nigga Percy. He just got <laughs> cut. That my nigga Percy Miller. Oh, he get yeah. hurt. He just got cut. <laughs> 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 he's still my nigga though. All right, what you got? What you got? <laughs> on my, on my, uh, above him, I got Jay Will because Jay Will wasn't on my list. Uh, I got Grant Hill on my honorable mentions because he wasn't on my list. Now we get to the nitty gritty. So I got uh, Kwame Brown on there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got Sean May. <laughs> you remember that? Like, Sean, Sean May was hanging out at all the clubs in Charlotte. Bro, he had with the, the hype, hype around. around. Did he not have a hype around? But you could put Jabari on your list. I don't like Jabari. Like Jabari, that. That's crazy. Jabari is an accomplished Sean May. That is crazy. Jabari Parker is an accomplished Sean May. Oh, oh, my I don't God, like bro. Nah, Sean May had defense. That nigga bro. didn't even play. He did. Bro, they I used had to, season tickets. <laughs> bro, they used to say Sean May would be at the clubs, bro. He all in practice. Charlotte. Club bitch, nigga. That's what the fuck. Sean May didn't take the Craft serious, bro. <laughs> what we talking uh, about? <laughs> All right, my other honorable ninja mention. I got Eric Gordon because you remember for a minute Eric Gordon was injured oh, yeah, for a he's minute. Do that. Yeah, he's, he's still hooping he's, though. He is, but damn. All right, Eric. He was, he Eric was, or Eric? Eric. I mean, Eric. Yeah, Eric still playing. He, he Eric still Gordon playing. Gordon still plays. Yeah, basketball? I think he's with the Pelicans. I think. But bro, he was injured God. for like eight years. What are you on two K? Oh, something. This nigga was injured. Oh, he was yeah, gone yeah. for eight years, bro. <laughs> How do you get an eight year injury? I like bro? that one, man. All right. I mean, damn. My other, he didn't make it to the NBA, but if he would have made it, people was talking about he was going to be dope. Casper Ware. Y'all remember him? No. Casper no. Ware was the guy who broke his leg in college. You remember he, he was supposed to be legit? He was supposed to be that dude, bro. I thought he was the regular ass player. Talk about the nigga who leg snapped first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the one yeah, that had yeah. the ugly uh, leg yeah, snap. Yeah, yeah. Paul George. Yeah. Bone was popping out. Yeah, he, had, yeah. he did one of them. But those those are my honorable mentions. All so, right. Man. Yeah. I don't have any honorable mentions. I mean, Johnny picked up all the honorable mentions for me. Jay Williams, Lynn Bias, things like that. The only reason I didn't add Jay and Lynn is because I feel like we always... Zion Williams is a prime example of hype, 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 get to the league, nothing. Yeah. So I don't know if Lynn Bias would have been great. I don't know if Jay Williams would have been great. They didn't even get a chance to touch that floor, and we didn't get a chance to see nothing but their college career. So if that's all we going off of, I mean, I guess there's a lot of niggas that could be if they oh, got yeah, picked. Sure. So, I mean, I feel it. I feel what the uh, they were saying, but plenty of niggas get to the league and here today going tomorrow. So that's the only reason I didn't pick them. But I, those would be my honorable mentions. And put and Anthony and Bennett on there because he just got cut. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about putting what him up nothing, there too. What not wrong I with that nigga? I want him to got... be good so bad. I want him to be good so bad. I mean, they not was, live I up mean, to that was fresh potential. off of LeBron leaving. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't live up to his because it was gonna be all. him, Kyrie, and Wiggins. They could have ran Cleveland. And Wiggins didn't even get good too. You, you for, Oh, I forgot about somebody. Who? Deontay Waiters, man. Damn. DeAndre Waiters. You talking about De- Deion, uh, Waiters? Deion Waiters? Deion Waiters. Deion had a good career. Yeah, sure no, he did. didn't. He never it was, a, it was like a role player. R- remember, he had like two good years in Cleveland. Then mm-hmm. he got hurt. Then he got traded to the Heat. Mm-hmm. Then he had like a, maybe a good year with the Heat. Then he got cut. See, I ain't basic. I thought De- I thought he had a good career because I thought he was just supposed to be a role player. I don't think he was supposed to be a yeah, star. He, he was supposed, supposed to be. Been, he could have touched star level. Put it that way. He yeah, had the possibly. game okay. to touch star level. He was like a great value J.R. Smith That's to me. Crazy. Wow. I, I'll take a great value J.R. Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> could Deion Waiters <laughs> that nigga was going A&T crazy. Nah, Deion Wade is probably on the henny right now. He okay. not he not oh, golfing. Yeah, he he not golfing. You remember he was getting fat. That's why they got rid of that nigga. <laughs> it's like, hold up, nigga. That henny oh, do twenty it to pounds you, bro. heavy. That liquor swell you up. Pass me the ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That was the could have been top twenty, man. Let us know what you think. Get down in the comments on YouTube. Talk to us on all the uh, socials, man. That's been another episode of KSP, man. Thank y'all for joining us. We're going to play the worst Nelly song ever and get the <laughs> F out of here. Let me hear y'all final thoughts while I load up this Nelly song. Uh, might have to do, well, shit, this is the only sport we all three follow. I was like, we might need to do an NFL one. I was, I was about to say, to I know NFL. some throwback NFL players. We could do an NFL one. Robert Griffin. 
Right. Shit, it's more. It's James James Wiseman. We thought he was gonna be good. But see, the nigga the, didn't. The thing about the NFL is a lot of them white quarterbacks is could have been. They just keep jobs. Uh, Long yeah, enough to oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. we, we got brother, got brother <laughs> Bean yeah, power. All right. A nigga hate the white quarterbacks. <laughs> the you white know, quarterback. You know Cam. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga number one. <laughs> yeah, Cam, Cam definitely on Molly, but he's not could have been because he did. Nah, Cam uh, legit. Cam legit. Just, All right, man. He just didn't live up to it. Thanks for tuning in for another Monday at KSP. We'll be back with another episode next week. Uh, I'm signing off for D. I'm signing off for Johnny. I'm signing off for James. Listen, man. Hope you guys having a good time out there, having a good holiday season. We love y'all. Thanks for fucking with us. Want you guys to love the life you live and the people in it. Find the positive in every situation and live in the moment because this life is not forever. Enjoy family. Enjoy friends. And we'll talk to y'all later, man. I had something else. Huh? Happy it's holidays. All right, man. Yeah, happy, happy holidays. holidays. Whenever you listen to this. The heart of a champion.